Take your devoted pet, Newton, so he can be absolutely no trouble and loyally cater to your every whim all day long. A decaf mochaccino? Newton, I'm late for school. This concludes our broadcasting day. Beep. Oh, please, take me with you. I can blend in. Ah. Uh, Miss Bond? Uh, yeah, the answer is either Alfonso the Ninth of Portugal uh, or a bag of nuts. Every time I take you to school, you cause trouble. Oh, no one will even know I'm there. I'll be as quiet as a little dumpling fishmonger. Who will buy me big, smelly haddock? No, that's no good. I'll be as quiet as that big king and I gong. Okay, bad example. As quiet as the howling crater monkeys of Antron 5. <laughs> I'm kidding, huh? <laughs> That's your problem. You're always kidding. You don't know the effect you have on people. But at school, I could learn about people. Their dreams, their hopes. <laughs> Why they have these big, dangy things in the back of their shorts? <laughs> Want to learn about people? Do what I do when I'm stuck at home all day. Yes, so would like and one. Watch TV till your eyes hurt. I can do that. Fifty TV channels and every one an invaluable opportunity to study the fascinating world of humans. Is your nose too big? Do your ears stick out? Is your mouth too narrow and your eyes too far apart? Then you need the new improved Napomatic Face Molder to gently reshape your features as you sleep. Simply dial in the desired level of beauty from plain Jane to gorgeous Gertie. Slowly, subtly overnight, tiny probes and heated wires remold your old boring face into this. Isn't she pretty? And any extra face is conveniently and invisibly stored beneath the hairline. Wow. No wonder humans are all so darned attractive. Order before midnight tonight, and we'll throw in this. The Mate Moosher for men. How does it feel to wake up really handsome? Great, Ford. Now we resume our entertainment. I don't want entertainment. I need more information about products that will enhance and improve my life. Hemorrhoids? Oh, that's better. Dougal, you ever feel guilty about leaving Lummox at home all day? Sure. He's not the smartest dog, but he gets lonely when I'm gone. Sometimes I walk out the door backwards, so he'll think I just came home. And when I do get home, I spend an hour with him, going along with whatever he wants to do. Whatever he wants to do? Yep. Guaranteed for as long as you own your head. If your pet catches fire, simply return for a full refund. One yummy spray and you won't be able to keep your nose out of your slippers. Oh. I finally understand human beings and their complex spiritual and depilatory needs. I just need one individual to test my theory. Oh, what night through yonder Windows 95? It is a guinea pig. Good afternoon, lady. Whoa, you're a big one. 
I'm gonna show you something to change your life. But first, I got a question. Of course you do. Everybody wants to know my secret. The truth is, I haven't paid for a haircut since I discovered VacuSnip. Why so glow, man? Uh, it's these duchies, buddy. I can't eat apples and play tunes on them anymore. Well, that's because you're not using the Kilroy's gum stick. Wait a minute. Yes, one minute is all it takes to remove that unsightly leg hair with Super Rip. Ah! Ah! Run for your life! My poor Nettie. Oh, I never knew you humans were so miserable. <gasps> huh? You was my own, and Nettie. You should have called me. Never mind. I've studied. I've learned. I'm going to make you whole again, boy. I'm going to make you into a real boy. What? How? With this. Limited to only a thousand firing days. Or until the machine that makes them breaks. It's the many faces of Fred Mertz's decorative plates. Happy, sad, scowling, yelling at Ethel. Food never tastes so good as when you eat it off the head of a bald actor. Huh? I spend an hour with him, going along with whatever he wants to do. Is that what you want to do now? Play salesman? I'm a health nut. I jog all day. Then I swim 10 kilometers out to the house by where I live. I need protein, but I miss that carbonated bronze, which is why I drink clock soda. You drink what? It's like having a chicken lay eggs in your mouth all day long. Uh, actually, I'm not thirsty. Do people look at you and lose their appetite? Hey! That may be because you've got danger, babe. Hi, I'm a singer-actress, celebrity, and hair owner. What? With my 120-tier hair care system... You could say goodbye to itchy, flaky scalp and do about nine hours of your day and half your disposable income. I washed my hair twice this week. Wow! Then you must be desperate for entertainment. And what could be more entertaining than the bottom 50 from the top 100 of the 1970s? That's right! All the music you didn't like enough to buy when it was new is back on seven unbelievably expensive CDs. You get... And... Every song ever written containing the words Oogie Woogie. How can we offer seven CDs at this amazing price? We hunted down the musicians, and they're all starving in covers. Hey, man, I'll, like, I'll give you this song for uh, a cup of wheat. Um, okay. Newton, are you feeling all right? I feel great, Tony. But Fran tells me you've been riding that desk pretty darn hard. Who's Tony? Who's Fran? You need a vacation, buddy. But I don't have time for... Time slime. You needn't leave your own backyard when you've got... Maui in a can! Everything you need for a restful two-week vacation in the sun in one vacuum-packed container. That's it. I'm trying to play along and do what you want, but you are driving me crazy! <laughs> but what else could you want? How about the world's smoothest shave with this 27-blade razor that doubles as Venetian blinds? How about a celebrity-endorsed kitchen product? Now you too can eat hot, messy corn with the Prince Charles earlobe cob holders. If you don't want that, I got other stuff. <laughs> Where did all this stuff come from? You desperately needed it right now. I also signed you up for several invaluable services. Hey, I'm a hockey player, eh? So why pay Dennis big money when you could have a sports superstar come to your house and knock all your loose teeth out with this here stick, hey? How did you pay for all this? Uh, I didn't have to pay for anything. 
Nothing. Zero. Zip. No cash down. No interest. No qualifying. No payment. Special bill delivery. We can put it all on your Vista card. Vista, get what you want when you want it, whether you really want it or not. Newton, this is junk. It's all junky, junky, garbagey, worthless junk. But the TV said. TV? Have you been watching commercials all day? Is that what they call those short programs with the constipated husbands? I need a lot of products right now. I gotta hide all this. Help me. <laughs> Mom, uh, Dad, I can explain. <gasps> a Merco automatic shirt button sorter <gasps> and a fiber gannet fried egg, just what I wanted. Eric, you didn't forget our anniversary. An edible snore mask. Sharon, you didn't either. Thanks, Thanks kid. kid. You, you saved, saved my life. life. What are these envelopes? They look like bills, dear. Well, happy anniversary. I'm going upstairs to see you. 10, 12, 50, 70, 200, 500, 500 dollars worth of elbow pad decrusters. Ned. Ned! Interesting. The famous trout shaped rock. Carved by nature. Sponsored by O'Burgers. A hundred miles. Can we make it today? Sure. This baby may be large, but she handles like a dragon. Ned, if you're bored, there's games in the card table. It folds down. Everything in here folds down. Okie doke. Where's the toilet? I think it's on the roof. Here, take the wheel. <laughs> oh, vacation! A million miles from the clatter of the teletype and the click of the secretary's heels on my neck as I suck the last of the donut sugar off the floor around the coffee machine. Listen to that fresh air. Smell those seagulls. Wow. If that's the beach, imagine how big the ocean must be. I got to get that razor fixed. That's not beach, it's desert. And we've been driving through it for two days. I'm bored out of my skull! Surely not with all these. Cupboards to play with? Touring bingo. You cross off stuff that you see from the car. Except there's no picture of a thousand miles of sand! Oh dear! Oh, oh, I was pushing the squirt button. My foot stuck on the roof rack. Let's stop for gas. We're stopping. Attention, love boaters. Our first port of call is middle of nowhere. Please stay off the boat until, oh, 900 hours, giving our crew time to go through your valuables and lick your complimentary fruit. My parents said I'm not supposed to leave the mega camper. Oh, parents. Edmund Hillary, stay away from that big pointy mouth. It'll poke your eye out! Who are you gonna listen to? Your parents who raised and love you are a six foot talking new. Come on! Fill her 
drunk, mister? Or did you pull in to see me dance like this? Fun. Let's get back in. Not till we've stretched our legs <laughs> and our noses into entertaining balloon animals. It just sounded in tumbleweeds. There's nothing to do. You never heard of the classic children's game Sandjax? <laughs> Six million five thousand and eleven Z's. Hey, look! Your folks must think we're way over there. They don't think we're over there. They think I'm still asleep. They're leaving! What? Leaving us here in the desert? But I'm an amphibian! The gas station. It's our only hope. Don't worry. It's common knowledge. There's always fresh water just below the surface. Darn! Smithers and accounting must have had the last drop. Hey, this baby has cruise control. I'm a little tired. Why don't we let the cruise dry for a while and take a nap? You know, Newton, since this can be very dangerous, I feel obligated to tell you that it is not safe to hitchhike. A car! Ah, oh, it's just a mirage. We'll never get a ride this way. Or this way. Or this way. We get there quicker on foot. Luckily, I have two of those on me. I probably shouldn't be wearing my lucky magnifying glass hat now, should I? Quit fooling around! We're in real trouble! Not at all! Oh, look! It is Shangri-La! We can shelter in that big pointy hut! Why would someone build a metal hut in the middle of the desert? Gosh, Judy! If we put on a show in this barn, the whole darn town will come out and save us! Look, a picture of a rocket with fire coming out. Ah, uh, Newton. Must be the air conditioning. Nine, eight, seven. Is that what I think eight, it is? Kate Moss's measurements? Four, three, two. And coming soon, KS DOS 0, 0.0 Vadanya. My mom and dad will be worried sick. This highway's a little rough. Are you sure it's safe to let the camper drive itself? Don't worry your little head. If cruise control was dangerous, they wouldn't have installed it. Are you sure we can get back? What are you kidding? Look at all these boats. We're going home in style and luxury. Oh, this ship will get you home, Nanny. I regret everything I ever ate. Oh, taste that salt air. That's not salt air. That's salt water. We're sinking. Nonsense! I have spent my life on the ocean. I think I know when a ship is... Sinking? You know, that's a good color for you. Newton! Oh, we found the lost continent of Atlantis! No one's been here in 3,000 years! 
No one knows why I speak in such short, breathy senses, or why mythical Atlantis was pulled to the ocean floor so many centuries ago. Hey, thank you so much. That was my last word, my... In the pet shop, I roomed with Rudolph's brother, Reardolph. His back end lit up. His song only gets sung at very lonely Christmas parties. I'm going to call the stewardess. You want anything? <laughs> they were tombs after all. As my psychic friend revealed to me at $3.99 a minute, they were ancient subway stops. Don't be ridiculous. We're going home, Ned. The perilous part of our journey is finally over. This is supposed to be an adventure sequence. Look! Wake up, Ned! Almost there! This is great! We'll just balloon softly down into the camper! Hmm. When did I last have some Zippo? onto the bed. Ah! Here we are, the trout-shaped rock. Ned, you missed all the beautiful scenery. What on earth were you playing back there all that time? 